owner and curator of Yo So Boho. I hope your week is going well. If this is your first time here at the channel, please consider subscribing, doing all the things like hitting a like button and leaving me a comment and saying hello. This is a channel all about thrifting. That's what we're gonna do today. That's what we do every Tuesday, Thursday, and sometimes Saturday. Today, I'm gonna take you to the Lake Moore, which is in Akron, Ohio, Goodwill. Now, I have been down on this store for a few months. Every time I went, I walked out empty-handed. But recently, I think in my last three trips, I have found some treasure. So that is where we're gonna go today. I am with my mom on this day and I'm gonna show you everything that I found. Before we go, please remember, tonight I will be right back here at 8 p.m. Eastern, that is my time, with my mom for our normal monthly fun and festive sale. <laughs> Don't think you have to come and buy anything. Just come and hang out and engage with us and have some laughs. Maybe bring a drink of your choice, alcoholic or non-alcoholic, we won't judge, <laughs> but I hope to see you back here at that time. All right, let's go over and see what's happening at the Goodwill in Lake Moore. Mom just <laughs> got the first find. So I think these are called like Galileo thermometers. They float for the temperatures. Um, I have one in my kitchen. It's not this big. This is a nice big one. And this is only $3. I don't see any damage. I don't know how they work. Somehow when the water in here is at a certain temperature, these little things float to whatever temperature it is. I don't know. I just like the way they look. I have a smaller one over in my kitchen um, in the window and this one, I don't know where it's gonna live yet. I do not wanna ship this. So it's probably gonna be something that I keep or I gift to a friend or family member who wants one of these, but I wasn't gonna leave it there for $3. And I think probably these sell around 20 bucks, 18 to 24 maybe. But yeah, they're very cool. Do you have one? Have you seen them? Of course, I picked up a candle. It's called Baking a Cake. <laughs> they have four on it. So that might be something that I get. But I'm kind of excited to see full shelves in here. different. Be kind. Kind of looked through all of this. This is kind of neat. This is a handkerchief face. Somebody had some green glass. Look at all the bowls. Actually, this matches these. Several of those. Oh, this big cabbage bowl. Monterey collection. These are Avon. This is kind of fun. This looks like a little candy dish. A little thumbprint pattern. Five dollars. This is pretty. A little blown glass piece with an applied clear foot. Two dollars. I don't need that, but that's a good price. This is a nice thing to see. This looks like it might have some cracks or something in it. This is fun though too, $5. The color tag today that's half off is green. But I, the last time we came in here, we actually bought some stuff, which was the first time in eight or 10 visits. So I was happy the last time we came in to you know, actually make some purchases. And it looks like today, maybe we find some more things. This little ceramic, <laughs> what does it say, instant coffee. It's just a container. Oh yeah, that's cute. You don't have to really grind it. It's already ready to go. Kind of sweet. Ooh, those are nice. Those are stone. Eight dollars. Each or the pair? Each. That's 
that's nice too. Nice little blown glass applied. Four dollars. All right. Things may be looking up here. Let's see what we got in the blue section. Clowns, no. This says something back here. Adventure, that's fun. Aw, little bluebird and a baby. Kelvin, fine china. Aw, that's unfortunate. This is cute, this looks like Jim Shore. But, he's missing a whole arm and oar. Oh, look at the fish under there. So neat. She's missing her umbrella. These are made by Avon, if you ever see these. What's this? Something that's new. These are super cute. Look like they have a little bit of age. A little Krabby Crab. <laughs> a little seahorse. Two dollars. Two dollars each. Hmm, we're not gonna do that. What's this? Malta. Three dollars. Made in Malta. I think we can do that for three dollars. It's nice. Ooh, look at this little case glass. Vase back here. The little applied foot. And no price, which means they won't sell it to me. That's kind of neat too. That's just a molded piece. I can feel the mold line. It looks cool. Wow, look at this big. Holy moly. That is heavy. That feels like cast. This looks brand new. Farber wear. That's probably a really nice deal on that for 15. If you were looking for something like that. This might be BAPG. Definitely has an older look to it. $5 on that. Oh my gosh, look at the llamas. <laughs> Those are darling. Hobby Lobby, $6 each. This is cool. It's kind of wonky. Looks like maybe a student piece. $3. It's pretty. It's just kind of very wonky. What's going on here? <laughs> There's two of them. And <laughs> their faces. Oh my gosh. Oh, I missed him down here. On with this guy, <laughs> he is surfing, dude. He's a surfing dude, he's cute. Made in China, three dollars. He's super cute. I'm gonna leave him up here, somebody's gonna buy him. I see a dead flamingo, it's probably not a good thing, right? <laughs> is he standing up at one point and he just fell over? Oh no. Oh no, I'm sorry, dude. I think your neck is broken. I'm not a doctor, but I think it might be broken. <laughs> oh no. It's kind of cool. This is a bit chonky on here. $5. That's actually nice. That looks like it could be for Gary. Oh. Sarah Stoneware. Japan, yeah. What's this? Okay. It's a guitar shaped hooky thing. <laughs> Made with epoxy and shell pieces. That's something. Is that? I'm seeing something back in here that I have to reach in here and see what it is. So, oh, it's like a weird fake flower. Okay. 
and then we have some deer hanging here. What's going on here? Oh no, they're all tangled. <laughs> this that's cute oh I like that three dollars isn't that fun I really like the way that looks this is so my jam or honey <laughs> I should say I freaking love this. I love the glass and the wood. And I've seen some other ones out there. I think you can get them off of Amazon. But the glass jar is not as nice. It's just kind of a straight jar. This one has a nice little look to it. I was trying to see if there was anything on the bottom that I missed. I think I just see some numbers. Yep, I see the number 15. I don't know what that means. But this piece is fantastic. This looks like it's a turned piece. I love the color of the wood. It looks so rich and it's just wonderful. Uh, probably going to sell this at a later date, although I freaking love it. <laughs> um, I can't keep everything. I can't keep everything. It'll probably show up at a future sale. So great. What's this back here? Cinnamon? Does it say cinnamon? Oh, it's heavy. Yep. Cinnamon. Because you need a big cinnamon sign. It's kind of cool. What would you do with that? It's kind of neat. Got some faux flowers here. Faux flowers do well for us in the booth. These are kind of cool. What do they have on these? Five dollars. Those are neat. Let's move on and see what's in the wood. Big wood mug. Jamaica. Look at the shape of that. That's kind of cool, right? Sold at Home Goods. Yeah. It's missing a handle. What are these? There's like two of them. Are they just bases for something? Does anybody know? That's neat. I don't know. I've never seen those before. This is cool up here. This big box here, little box here. I see a bird on here. It's missing something. I don't know. Those are screwed right into there. I just don't like that this looks unfinished back here. I do like the way this looks. It looks in much better shape. Oh, we're sticking out here. I wonder if that can just be hammered in. What's the guess on price? $8. Hmm, probably not in that condition for resale. What's this? Oh, it's really heavy. Oh, what's this? I like this. The wheel and transportation. It's a glass tray. Three dollars. I might have to look that up. Underneath it, there's one that just has like a transfer trucking thing. Night run from Atlanta. Painted by Alan Tigran for Georgia Highway Express. It's probably art. Yep, three dollars too. I'll throw those in the cart just to look them up and see if there's any historical value there. There's something else. Oh, this. There's another box here. This one doesn't look as nice. I see a boot jack underneath here. What's that look like? 
just very simple. It's uh, branded though. It's a very simple one. That's neat too. It's a little carved, like an ewer with grapes on it. That's kind of nice. I'm not a fan of the grapes hanging off of it, but I do like the style and the work here. All right, we'll think about that too. Oh, here's another one of those glass trays. They're all the same kind of trucking. This has Goodyear on it. That's a good sign. And that's a city. Is that Chicago? I think that might be Chicago. All right, I'm gonna look that up too. I listed these three in a lot. What is this? This has some age to it. I thought maybe it was a cricket box, but it doesn't have any holes in it. Made in India. It's missing something that holds that. I like the patina on it. It's got a cool look to it, but yeah, it's missing something there. Another little brass piece five dollars somebody in the back must love brass oh look at this that's fancy a little etched piece with some gold detail that's interesting oh these are kind of nice this looks like onyx you see any damage oh they're eight dollars each yeah, that's no good. Plus so we got some little chippies on the edges. Nice looking though. Brass bell. It's the quietest bell you've ever heard. <laughs> got any good baskets? I do like the way this one looks. Made in China, small tobacco basket. I like the leather looking handles, that's why. Let's see what's going on over here. It's a brutiful day. That's cute, you put your tea bags in there? It's made by Mud Pie, it's got a little chip there, but it's on the bottom. What do they want for it, $4? I'm gonna say probably not. I'm trying to get to this funky chicken back here. Does he hold a tea light? What's going on there? He holds either a tea light or a candlestick. <laughs> I wonder if he has a partner. Cute. The swans are pretty fancy. They are a music box, $8. I see a big shell back here. Uh, the tips are busted off. That's unfortunate. If you can find these in good condition, See, this is not good right here. But if you can find something like this in good condition, I've sold them on eBay for good money. Baba Billick. You did a good job, Baba. This looks like it might be RRPC. Yep. I always am attracted to these with the blue stripes. Oh, look at that fancy bear down there. Oh my gosh, you guys. What? What is happening here? <laughs> you poor thing. Have you just been sitting here waiting for me and it took too long to find you and that's why you're so sad? I'm so sorry. But you don't have to wait anymore. You're coming with me. <laughs> he just does something to my heart. He's the cutest ever. He's made in Japan. 
he's probably from the 70s. I am going to struggle to let him go. I can't find him anywhere. I did a Google Lens search. I searched for like sad frog, frowning frog, <laughs> all kinds of searches. Um, I just cannot find this exact one. So I'm sure if I put him in a future sale or if I put him up on eBay, he's going to disappear. He's one of those things that, you know, he's just delightful, <laughs> even though he's so sad. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, I think he's going to sit back here amongst my pottery for a bit and uh, make me smile <laughs> when I see him. I just love him so much. I know you were waiting there for me. You at some point could start smiling though. What's this? We're gonna have to do a Google search on these guys. They're in good condition. And this frosted and clear always makes me think like Lalique or Mikasa, <laughs> which is a huge difference between the two. But looks like maybe twenty dollars there's some little inclusion here in the glass that i don't like but yeah for five dollars i've seen these listed as low as like 12 and just there's no sell through right there so we're gonna have to pass on that it's a pretty little milk glass compote i want to see what this is up here i see a department 56 got ten dollars on it but let's see what it is oh yeah, that doesn't do anything for me. Man, I feel like flamingos have been following me around this weekend. Pink flamingos everywhere. It's so funny. I just got a tree skirt and uh, two stockings yesterday with this kind of wintry pink flamingo scene. Oh my god, you guys. They also have the mugs, <laughs> except these have little campers on them. <laughs> I think these are all marked because they're a similar price. Okay, I think they're 75 cents each because they're not marked with anything other than just a mark like that. So. I believe the mugs are 75 cents each, if I'm reading it right. Here's my eBay listing for this set. Mom and I just looked up here and saw this Betty Crocker catalog. I don't know why they have A, A and double A, B, double B, C, C, D, D, E, F, G, H, I, J, K L M N O P Q R S T U V W X. Uh oh. Are we missing Y and Z, or they just probably don't have recipes for Y and Z? No, they, it stops at X. Okay, we have a full set. So I originally pulled this up on a search, and it said um, there were 400 and something listed. But then when we switched over to solds, there's 535 solds. So these are sought after. And for $6, we're going to grab this. I priced this on the higher end of the range because it was in such wonderful condition. Keep an eye out for those Betty Crocker recipe boxes. This one was like minty. I don't even think that anybody used it maybe once. Some of the index cards, like the category cards, were a little kind of dog-eared, but most all of it was like pristine. There weren't any cards missing. It was a complete set. And I love that avocado green, definitely in 1970s. And this one was 1971. That was the year that that one was put out. Um, so it was pretty spectacular. It's always a nice thing when you look something up and it shows 400 plus listings and then 500 plus sales because that's the right math. I tell that to anybody who's interested in reselling. If you want to make money doing it, don't watch what other people are picking up. Pay attention to the math. I guarantee you, if you see 100 listed and 500 sold, as long as you have the right price on it, it's going to sell like that just math. All right, everybody. 
that concludes today's adventure at the Goodwill. Again, this is in Akron. It is the Lakemore Goodwill. And I'm going to have to take back all of the boo-hoos that I was doing the last few months because this was the third trip and also a good trip for eBay items. So yay. All right, everybody. Hopefully you will come back in a little bit. We will be live right here at 8 p.m. tonight, Eastern time. I hope to see you then. If I miss you tonight, I will catch you on Saturday with the video. All right, everybody, take care. See you later.